It, it's a great time to be a geek. It's the first time in human history that we've had access to the total of the world's information at our fingertips. Right now, there are five billion mobile phones in the world, and about a billion of those are data devices or so-called smartphones. What's being driven by consumers and what they want in the handset experience is actually driving back. It's driving sophistication of the device itself. It's driving sophistication into the communications network back to the base station, from the base station back into the uh, service provider and from the service provider back into the ethernet and into the cloud. Every one of those changes actually is something that IBM participates in. If you took a modern smartphone apart, Here's what you'd find. You'd find a very powerful computer and then a sophisticated set of radios, and both are built on IBM technology. IBM's customers use our technology to build the advanced radios that do the cell phone transmission, the amplifiers, the antenna switches, the GPS, and the Wi-Fi links. I'm sure you've had this experience where you've been in a busy, a busy urban area and your calls have been dropped or your videos have been sluggish to come down. And that's because the infrastructure hasn't kept up with the demand. Our silicon is actually going out in the field now to, to clear that pipeline. With everything contending for that bandwidth, it's not just entertainment that gets impacted, it's all of our communications and our whole society runs on that communication. IBM's customers come to us because we provide leadership technology for that bandwidth. So what does all this mean? In the handset, IBM's specialty foundry technologies of silicon germanium, RFSOI, and RF CMOS are leading to longer battery life and more robust calls. Our partners use IBM developed low power technology to give that feature rich experience we've come to expect in a smartphone or tablet. This is technology that people can relate to. It's something that they experience in their pockets, on their hands. It's changing the way they live, the way they work, the way they play. In the wireless infrastructure, IBM Silicon Germanium is used to increase the bandwidth in the wired infrastructure, our custom logic technology is differentiated because we use silicon on insulator, we have the world's most advanced serial links, and we have embedded DRAM. There are predictions that if by the year 2020, there will be 50 billion connected objects. And these will be not just the handheld devices that we recognize now, but they'll be electric meters, they'll be our cars, they'll be healthcare devices, they'll be energy production, all of them smart, all of them connected. We use that network of ubiquitous smart connected devices to instrument the world. We gather the data in through high bandwidth secure communication to interconnect it. And then we make that data available in pervasive cloud computing so that we can analyze it and make decisions that make the world more sustainable, more efficient, and more productive. That's a smarter planet. I think this is a more fundamental transformation than even the internet. The fact that we have objects talking to objects and we have large computers talking to objects is going to fundamentally change the way the world works in ways that we can't even anticipate. It's going to be a wild ride.